Hey guys, this is Fat Lutes from Fat Lutes Gold Blog, and this is my TSM setup video. Uh, so for those of you who already have your TSM set up and you have your desktop app, you don't need to watch this video. Uh, it's kind of just an initial guide for everybody else out there. So let's get into it. Um, to get the Trade Skill Master add-on, go to tradeskillmaster.com. You can go to add-on drop-down and go to overview slash download. And you can download all of them via the Curse add-on pack. So this add-on pack is one that I created. Oh yeah. And you can install it via the Curse client. Uh, I think Macs, Mac users can't do this. So here's all the add-ons listed individually down here. These are all the official add-ons. You'll notice all the project manager names are SAPU. So this is the official list of add-ons for TradeSkill Master. And I highly recommend you download all of these. Um, that's all I'm going to go into for that. You can figure that part out. You play World of Warcraft, you can download some add-ons. Next, from the Trade Skill Master website, you're going to need to create an account. And notice up here, here, it says, Welcome Fat Loots. So I've already created an account, an account. I assume you can do this. I have faith in you. You've created accounts. You've created your WoW account. You've created accounts before. All you need is an email address. I would highly suggest creating an account because you need it for the desktop app. The desktop app, let's go to overview download here. So what it does and what this page tells you, you can learn more about it if you want to read all this. But the main feature is it automatically updates your price sources in game. Now, how this is different from the days of old, um, you used to have to scan the auction house of your particular server as much as possible to try to get some reliable data of how items were priced. Now, Blizzard releases what's called an API, which is a constant feed um, of auction item data, such as the price it's going for currently, how many are listed, what all the auctions are, etc. And what TradeSkill Master does is it'll pull that feed, which is about every, it says, hour to two hours, and it'll update your prices automatically for your add-on in-game. So this creates a very stable, reliable source of data, which scanning the auction house at random times when you happen to be logged into WoW does not. So anyway, go up here and download for Windows or Mac. Uh, what I did with this personally is I just put it in a little folder on my desktop. Pretty great. All you need Once you download and install the TSM app, you can log in and you'll be taken to this screen. Now it won't have all this populated here, but you can go to settings up here to set it up. The general tab first in settings has your WoW directory. It should auto detect this and it's generally what I have here, but if it doesn't, or you put yours in a special spot, you could change this. Um, here are some options. You could minimize the system tray, which I don't like to do. I like to minimize it on my taskbar. Um, show confirmation on exit. So when you close it, it says, are you sure? Uh, run at startup. I highly suggest this just in case you restart your computer. And when it comes back on, the TSM app isn't running. The other thing you see here is set up realm. So when you click this, it takes you over here. To the realm setup. Now you notice I have quite a few realms here in the US region. Um, so to add a realm, you just go down here, pick US or EU, pick your realm, and hit add realm. You know which realms you play on, you set this up. I mean, it can't get much easier than this, can it, guys? So going back to the TSM app, to the notifications tab, um, there's little pop up notifications, aka toasts. For various events and you could uncheck or check these at all now for backup so now what, what the backup does is you could back up your trade skill master settings your in-game add-on settings via this app i highly suggest you do this so what happens is every time you make a change in game which people make a lot of changes you can back it up this app will back it up local on your computer and so just in case your you know saved variables file gets deleted which happens you could always go back and restore it i highly 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 suggest you do this 
Um, my minimum backup period is one hour. Um, you could reasonably make it three, 12 hours, whatever. Um, but one hour will check. And basically, if your add-on files didn't change, your settings didn't change, then it won't back it up. But if a backup happened within one hour, it'll create a backup. And delete the backups after, and I put one month. You could put one week, three days, whatever you want. Um, just because my computer's not on all the time and the TSM app isn't continually running, I went with one month just because I'm a little paranoid. Not paranoid, but anyway. So that's all you need to do for that. Um, you just have to pick these drop downs. And in the advanced settings, upload app log, you don't need to worry about this. You won't be sent here unless the TSM team asks you to. So, yes, that's how you set it up. That's all you need to do. Quite easy. Provides so much usefulness. Um, then in the realm data here, we just have here's all the realms I use. The US, the EU, the regions, the region data. Last time it was updated. Very helpful to know. Make sure everything's up to date. Add-on versions, here's all the add-on versions for the add-ons I have. All of them are up to date, good to know. And going to backups over here, we have system ID, account, timestamp, links, sync status. Now, all you have to do is go on to one of these. If just, in, you know, on the off chance that your uh, backups or your Trade School Master settings get messed up, which does happen because the way they're saved, and it's usually WoW's fault. If WoW closes improperly, it could screw up um, the settings. So it's useful to have this here to restore it. Um, to do the sync, you just double click on one of these. The last time um, the backup was created and it will restore your backup and all your Trade Skill Master settings. It's great. Please, I highly suggest you do this. And then last but not least, we have accounting export. Uh, this is not a crucial function. Uh, you can export your sales, purchases, income, expenses, expired auctions, canceled auctions to CSV format, which you could use in Excel. Um, if you're a more advanced user, this is probably something nice you could try and test out. So now that you've been acquainted with the desktop app and how to download the add-on, you're ready to get into TradeSkill Master. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest gold making and trade skill master videos. And if you're interested in more in-depth gold making discussion, be sure to check out the consortium forums which are linked below. Till next time guys, cheers.